Hello everyone, and welcome to Pokemon Vortex. It's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Haha, <laughs> Star Wars joke. Two years ago, there was a Pokemon Vortex Star Wars event on the 4th of May, on May the 4th. Where you could get a Pikachu Jedi. Now, I was I didn't think I was playing at the time, so I didn't get the Pikachu Jedi for myself. However, I did get it via someone else. And then what I remember making a video of is Cubone Vader. I use that quite a bit on uh, my Shadow Ghoul account. I have a Cubone Vader there. Now, what's this here? Well, as you can see from the title, we have been invaded by Jar Jar Binks. Where's Jar Jar? Magic. Do I, I, I don't have the force. How do I, like... Make him appear. Hocus Pocus. Abracadabra Alakazam. Okay. One final trick. And I learned this from Metabots. And you're like, well, why do I bring up Metabots? I'll just happen to come from Metabots. And this works like 90% of the time with any electrical appliance. In this case, my computer that runs Pokemon Vortex. After you've tried the turn it off, off and on again, and is everything plugged in, all the basic stuff, if it still doesn't work, yell the following phrase, try one more time, and then it works. 90% of the time. Work, you stupid piece of junk! Okay, <sighs> it worked. There! That's Jar Jar Binks. Psyduck Jar Jar. We had a Pikachu that became a Jedi, we had a Cubone that became Darth Vader, and now Psyduck that became Jar Jar Binks. And I'll admit, I just think last year I haven't seen anything from Star Wars. Like, I've seen some scenes every now and then on YouTube, maybe, but I've not seen any of the movies. But, um. Yes, Jar Jar Binks is supposedly a character that isn't very well liked or something. Like, tell me in the comments why. I don't really know. But this is Jar Jar Binks, a Psyduck with Water Gun Lake Double Slap Rolling Kick. It's water just like a Psyduck, but it's also fighting type. Now, what are we going to do with this Psyduck Jar Jar? Well, we're going to battle with it for a bit. If you want your own Psyduck Jar Jar, log in today, May the 4th, on 2018. It's only available today. It's going to be your daily login reward. Which means if you share your computer or something, or your IP address with someone else, for example, you normally only, only play Vortex at school, someone else might have gotten it, and you'll have to get it via trade. Now, it is possible to get uh, a unique Psyduck Jar Jar, a Shadow, a Dark, anything like that. It's dependent on luck. Likely, there's a higher chance of getting a normal, like with most Pokemon like that. I'm not really sure what the chances are. Uh, I was, as a, I guess, unlucky and got a regular, uh, I got a normal Psyduck Jar Jar. I'm still pretty happy with it. I'm going to take it for a run, do some battles with it. So we're going to go to training Kyogre. I believe that's the best one for water. Sure, there's no immunity, but I can still do pretty well. Now, the moves here aren't all that good, although I can actually one-shot with Water Gun, which is, I guess, something I will take. Um, Psyduck Jar Jar can get better moves. It can. And I'll show you in just a moment what I can do. It's really easy to get some points with that. A bit of money. Another thing that you could try is the account Water Me. Similar, but then against an Onyx. And Onyx has, I think, Bind and another, like, Enrage, so two weak uh, normal type moves that should be okay, whereas Graveler has Incinerate and Harden. Either way, there should you shouldn't be KO'd as long as you can one-shot them, so... In that sense, you're all okay. Then we could take a look at the fighting ones, and I believe I decided on training Keldeo for that. I don't remember what their things are. Rolling Kick can unfortunately miss, so I'd hope I get a, a more accurate one. That's Zigzagoon, Mud Slap, Pain Missile, Tail Whip, Growl. Tail Whip and Growl obviously not doing much. Mud Slap is a weak attack, and Pin Missile isn't as strong. It isn't that strong either. I believe they don't get their max power, they just get a tiny bit of power. And it's not very effective against fighting types, so that helps as well. Boom, Rolling Kick. Unfortunately, no one shot due to the fact that Zigzagoon isn't um, fully weak to it. 
in a moment we're gonna go to a training account with Sneasel. But that Sneasel, even though it's like uh, Psychic Jojo resists the moves due to being um, the fighting type and they use dark type moves, it is something like Faint Attack that they use, which is also Stab. So we're gonna see how well we fare against that. That's Vital Fight. I wonder who made that. Might be Vital. Anyway, Rolling Kick. Do take that out. 50 damage, so as long as we don't miss, we should be okay. Actually, Bite the 75. So that's 6 hits with which you can take it out. So if you miss twice and hit the hit the rest, then... You no, wait. No, you hit once and they keep using Bite, then you could actually lose. So this is somewhat of a risky one. So I would recommend if you want to train this way, go for training Caldeo. That'll probably work better for your Psychic Jar Jar. That, was, that must have been a crit, yeah. Boom. 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 And boom. Now I'm bound to not have the strongest Psychic Jar Jar in the sense of EXP, because it was earlier, well before I made the video, there was already one with over 200,000. I'm not going to make this the highest... Um, EXP Jarja. If you're wondering what are my highest EXP Pokemon, I'll show you. Easily in first now, Shiny Pharaoh with all the training I'm doing with the immunity training. I've shown that in the EXP video as well. Shiny Pharaoh, as long as the Pokemon doesn't have an immunity itself, I have Shiny Pharaoh help them, train them up. Christmas Buddy, definitely I want to have that. Still the original um, Ultra Beast for Vortex V4, I want to have that as the highest EXP normal circuitry. I have that on my side quest team. Uh, also, on my side, you can see Tree Turtle, Dark Rook Crazy Mega, Crimson Lion. And then I used to have this Metallic Colava, but I really wanted to have a Metallic Colava that I could nickname it. This was actually someone else's. So I I think I had another Metallic Cyndaquil, and then I trained that up. But it's only at half of the EXP right now, so I'll slowly but steadily train that one up. And I'll get to do some cool things. Here I'll show you the attacks that Psychic Judge can get. Aura Sphere at 100% accurate uh, fighting move. And because it gets stabbed, it just needs 80 base power. Aura Sphere is 90, that's enough to be able to one-shot on a, norm a regular super effective hit. So with Aura Sphere, I will be able to one-shot the Zigzagoons and Linoons from the earlier training account. Whereas with Brick Break, I would just miss out. Now Dynamic Punch, sure, I could use that, but it's only 50% accurate. And accuracy is actually a thing in Vortex now, so... Uh, I prefer to avoid that. So Aura Sphere is likely the one I'd go for. For Water, hey, Water Spout, 150 power. Anything, I believe, that's either... I think it's 130 base power or higher. Um, with Stab, and if you're Dark, so that wouldn't work for this Psyduck, can mean one-shots. So, for example, a Dark Torterra with Leaf Storm deals 406 damage as base. Um, uh, same with Dark Sableye, Dark, or Dark Mega Sableye with Fling. Also, I just realized I'm not actually recording my webcam, and I was doing some cool things earlier when I was doing the, like, calling on the power of Jar Jar, but I don't, because the default is to have my webcam off at the moment, I forgot to switch it on because I've been recording a bunch of Pokemon tournament stuff. So we'll have to do it without my webcam uh, for this one, which you really haven't seen much for this video anyway. I'm not actually going to give it any moves. I want to keep my money because I'm at 48,920,000. Slowly get, uh, gaining some of that through battles, also through Poke Bay. Because I want to get to that top 100 richest list. Now, there's a bunch of people with 50. Uh, 50 uh, 50 million. It's just a suspicious amount of people with exactly 50 million, also with no poker base sales. I guess, I guess that can happen, but it's a suspicious amount that sometimes is bigger, sometimes is lower. I guess maybe some people go for that exactly, but it's just far too suspicious, and I don't trust it. Like, this person hasn't been online since September 22nd, uh, 2017. Um, it, it's very suspicious. I feel that that might be someone who hacked the XP and then got it was lowered again to something, I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I'm trying to get onto that list, which shouldn't take long anymore, considering um, this is 49 million, so with just with 1 million extra, I should just be on this list, and if I go over 50 million, then boom, I'll be like in the top 85 or something like that. So, let's actually do something with that, and 
get some money. I don't think I can get to this highest amount of money, but I think what we can do, if I just go to my team, actually, I have to it's Shiny Breaks, and that's normally in this spot when I go to catch some Pokemon. Um, I'm going to change my team. Take Jar Jar out. Furo in. Shiny Furo. Do some battles. See how much I can actually get from such battles. I guess I could have just used Jar Jar against the Onyx as well. And considering this is the Jar Jar Invades episode, I really should just do that. It should give me the same amount of uh, EXP and stuff. Although sometimes the amount of money is higher and sometimes it's not, like 3,000 or 1,500, sometimes 4,500. I'm not 100% sure why that works the way it does. So if anyone on Fortex uh, knows that and would like to explain to me, then please do. I'd be interested to know that and how it works. The more I know about Vortex, the better. Makes me makes um, the playing for me a, potentially a bit easier. Um, but also, it might help me with tutorial videos that I can make for you guys, or just regular explaining things in videos or on the forums, Discord, any place like that. Boom, 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 boom. See, now it's 3,600. Why? Why is it that amount? I, I don't understand. Is it related to the amount of money that I have? The amount of EXP on the Pokemon that I use? Is that related? I'm not sure. I, I don't actually know. Water gun, take out all the Pokemon. Now it's 4,500. Why? Like, I won't complain that it's higher than 1,500. That, it's a good thing that it is. It's more money for me, hey. But I, I'm not sure why. If anyone knows why the money amount is sometimes different, please let me know. Like, I can, with certainty, say that I can calculate the exact amount of experience that you get if you battle. That was 6,000. It keeps increasing. I guess I'll just battle. If it keeps increasing, it probably doesn't. Maybe there's a multiplier in there somewhere. I'm not sure. Like a 1,500 with a certain multiplier, although 3,600 suggests a multiplier at, time, at times to multiplier on 1,800 Poké Dollars. Now it's 1,500 again. Is it just... Is it random, or maybe it's in a row that every time it changes? That might be a theory. Let's actually try and figure that out. So last time I got 3,600 here. Let's see. No, 1,500 again. Gonna do a few more battles to see if we can come up with a theory for the money. And then that'll be it for the video. Having showed up Jar Jar. Let's see. Now it's 36, so we had that before. So then now we get 3,000? No, this would be 4,500. If my theory is correct, this should be 4,500. No, 36 again. Huh? Now it's doing what we had last time, but then doubled? Like, it's not twice 1,500, that's twice that we see 3,600. 3,600 again. Okay, I'm just going to do one more battle, and that'll be it. Now, actually, I'm going to do one more battle after this one, because it's Jar Jar Banks, and if I want to, like, listen to the fan base, then I have to make sure it, it, it gets taken out by something. So, um... Gym. No, actually, special battles... Um, Lysander, Psyduck, Jar Jar. Oh no, Jar Jar is down. Haha, <laughs> I can save him. Anyway, that is it for the video today. Jar Jar Binks has invaded Pokemon Vortex. If you would like to um, have a Jar Jar Binks of your own, log in today. It is only possible today. Um, if you see this video up for the day, there's probably going to be some things, especially in the first few days after this video, first few weeks, some Jar Jar Binks up on Pokebay, if you want to do something like that. Meanwhile, this is a few of my Pokebay stuff, I have a few avatars, I'm actually going to put a few more up there. I almost always have one or more Cosmogs up, this one goes for 400,000 right now, this one as well, this one for 450. Some legendaries, um, I have a regular Pokeball here because I can, some other uniques potentially. I quite regularly update my Pokebay, so just search Alka193 and you'll be able to find and are able to bid on these things. That's it for the video. I'll see you in the next one.
Goodbye.